Chapter 1 The Onion The onion, the simplest of all fruits. Outside, a tough shell. Inside, pure gold. Chapter 2, The Tears Cutting onions sometimes brings tears. Now that's acting! Chapter 3, The Lonely Butternut Squash The Butternut Squash One can't help wonder, but what is it doing in the market? in the spring. Okay, now it's time to scoop out the seeds from our acorn squash. Just take a spoon and... And then we're going to uh, peel the acorn squash. And then we cut the acorn squash into cubes. Chapter 4, The Apple. So you're going to take your apple and uh, cut off four slices from around the core. There we go. And you're going to uh, pick up one of the slices and put it in your mouth. Hmm, I can't see what I'm eating here. What is it? Oh, it's apple. Tastes good. Almost too good. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Chapter 5, Turning Up the Heat. So we're gonna light the stove and put in uh, two tablespoons of butter. There we go. And let that heat up. And now we add the onions. And shake the pan a little bit. Let that cook for about five minutes. And now we're going to add our squash uh, to the onions. Sometimes what appears to be black pepper is actually white pepper on the inside. You can't really see inside, but that's okay. Added some white pepper to our squash. Okay, and now we're going to stir our squash. There we go. Just to give it a nice little stir. Pour in your stock. You can use vegetable stock or chicken stock. You want to fill it just above the squash, just like that. Bring that to a boil and uh, let it cook for about 20 minutes or so. While you're cooking the squash, lay out four pieces of sage. Then shuffle a deck of cards and lay out four cards face down. Let's play. Hmm, interesting. Uh-oh. Sage has a full house. Sage wins. Now it's time to chop the sage. 
Doom, 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 chop the sage, chop the sage. Ah, yeah. And then just shred the Parmesan. Yeah. Okay, we're back to our uh, squash that's been cooking for about 20 minutes or so. It looks nicely cooked. Ah, squash. Okay, and now we're going to pour the uh, squash into the blender. There we go. And uh, then we're going to blend this up. Now, last time I tried to tell you about Stonehenge, and I realized you couldn't really hear the uh, audio underneath the sound of the blender. So I tried to adjust that a little bit this time and make it uh, easier to hear what I was saying about Stonehenge. So the thing about Stonehenge that you need to know is this. In ancient times... Hundreds of years before the dawn of history lived a strange race of people, the Druids. Okay, now we're back to the final preparations. You pour the soup into your bowl, and you're gonna add a little bit of the Parmesan to put on there. Just drop a little bit of Parmesan on there, just like this. There we go. And a little bit of that sage as well. And then while we're at it, uh, why not add a little bit more uh, salt, first of all. We're going to need the salt. And here it comes. There it is. The salt. And some pepper. White pepper. So you don't make a cloudy beige mess of a soup. That looks pretty good. Let's give it a taste. And... Oh, it's hot. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, maybe it's a little bit better right now, but, uh, oh, it's still a little bit too hot, and I don't know what I'm eating, so let me go grab my glasses, and I'll grab the soup again, and let me taste it again this time, and, oh, it's soup. That is soup, and it's, well, it's, uh, how did I describe that? Hmm, it's... Ah, soup. Yes, soup. 